project I'm working on here tonight. Uh, this one is an RF noise generator I'm planning on building here. Right now it's just a little steel box. All I've got so far is just a couple binding posts and BNC connector added onto her. But um, this will be, I'm going to build a circuit inside this box. Um, I think it's supply with 9 volts or 8 volts or 5 volts, whatever. And uh, it's a RF noise generator that you hook up to the back of your radio. Basically, if you want to check the sensitivity or filtering in it, apparently, that the uh, noise generator is supposed to be good for that kind of thing. Um, I really don't know a whole lot about the circuit uh, or what it basically what it be used for and what I was reading online. And that's for testing uh, filtering and whatnot in uh, in receivers. Or even if you're trying to tune a receiver and you need to generate a lot of noise into it for whatever reason, just a circuit here you'd use. So, just an old box, I have an old piece of equipment, and I'm going to use it to build a circuit in. So, you know, a little piece of equipment, may never use it, then again, may use it a lot, who knows. But, uh, if you're willing to hang around and want to watch this thing um, being built, and afterwards, maybe we'll even try it. But uh, this video is going to be uh, building the circuit for a RF noise generator. Right, guys, here's the circuit. Uh, apparently the collector on the uh, 3904, and Q1 I'll call it, uh, doesn't have to be connected to anything. Just the emitter at the base. <laughs> Interesting little uh, circuit, I have to say. But, uh... Basically, that's the circuit, and here it is built. So I guess all we're doing now is give her a try. See if we can't blow this up. Got a little case here that uh, will cover. It'll go over top of it like so. But uh, yeah, so I guess we'll power it up and yeah, see if she smokes. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, let's try it. See what happens. Um, I think we'll put an LED on that. What do you think? LED on the top? Hmm. What do you think, boys? Put an LED on it? We'll put an LED right at the top, right there, huh? Use one of them holes or use both of them. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we can Folks, do. So I got me uh, gutter built, gutter powered up, got a couple of LEDs put in there. Two LEDs, uh, 330 ohm resistor, had a couple of holes on top, I just stuck a couple of LEDs in there. That's two transistors, and there's four resistors and three caps. Uh, so basically, like I say, it's an RF noise generator. So, who wants to see what this looks like on a scope? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Turn me light off. Hopefully, the camera can pick this up. Here's what it looks like on a scope. Trying to get the reflection out of it. So, this is what it looks like on a scope. Thing is, what's it sound like on a radio? So let's uh, bring out a radio here, hook her up, and see how much noise this thing actually generates and what it sounds like. Okay, so I have it hooked up to the AOR 8600. Uh, so uh, that's 200 megahertz on VFOB, and you see no signal strength. So let's. Uh, Bring her down in frequency. Forty megs. Thirty. One hundred and twenty. Start seeing it. Getting higher the lower he goes. Scale. That's like that all the way down the band now. Huh? 
right into the broadcast. So it's a very broad bandit RF uh, RF noise generator. Four different modes. We want to check the rest sensitivity of the radio. You can certainly do it with the uh, RF uh, noise generator. Very cool piece of equipment. Very cool. Right, now is uh, put this thing to use. And again, there's a circuit. Anyways, folks, hope you enjoyed the video. And then, uh, yeah. And again, as always, I guess, uh, would you build your junk box today? There's one thing, I guess. Uh, I guess you'll want to see the machine turned off. So I'll just disconnect power from it. Go away, done it. Turn it on, turn it off. So yeah, works very well. <laughs> Anyways, we're out of here. Sounds right.